Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. So we're going to talk about um, hip extension in relation to bridging and thinking about opening up the front of the pelvis before we go into opening up into our back extension. So if I'm sitting here on the carriage, I'm in hip flexion. And if I extend up, I go into hip extension. For many people, right, because we're all spending a lot more time sitting, this is a little tight, a little wound up, and it's not necessarily a willing participant in an exercise like bridge on the, on the reformer if you haven't opened up the front of the hip first. So we know that a tight front of the hip can inhibit extension into the back plane. So I like to do some exercises to just address that before I go into bridging on the reformer or in a mat class. So there are a couple ways to do this. If you're on the reformer, um, this is something that I um, learned from Ann McMillan. She has these wonderful uh, reformer progressions on our EDU website if you want to check them out. But she recommends that you just do a little hip mobilization. So you would side lie and then reach the knee back and open through the front of the hip and pelvis and then come back into a little hip crease. So we're just mobilizing and kind of oiling the hip joint, opening up the quad and the hip flexors before we go into the bridging that's going to ask those quad and hip flexors to be open. And you'll just do a few here. You want to make sure that as they open through the front of the hip, maybe they think a little bit of the tail coming forward so they're not arching through their low back, but they're really opening up the front of the hip. So that's a quick way just to do this on their former, and then obviously would turn over and do the other side. In a mat class, it'd be as simple as going into your marriage proposal. So you come into your lunge and kind of work opening the hip here. Um, bringing the sacrum forward, trying to create length on the front side of the body uh, on both sides before you put them on their back and go into the bridge. If for some reason the hip flexion on the reformer, or sorry, the knee flexion, if they can't grab their ankle because that's too much flexion, or they can't stand being on their knees um, in, in a weighted position, you could use the foam roller. So we would take the foam roller, bring it behind the pelvis, hug the knees into the chest, and reach one leg out long. So I'm drawing this knee in and actively reaching through the front of this hip to create that length that I'm going to need when I go into my bridge. And so any of these three examples is a nice way to incorporate into the flow of your class if you know that you're going to be going into bridging. Giving students the opportunity to open up and unlock the front of the hip is going to make their bridge a more successful experience. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.